All right, guys, welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. In this video, I'm really just gonna, well, I gotta do a war attack. Are my troops here? Yeah, my troops are here. So in this video, I'm just gonna talk about a few things. Um, I guess the drama is going on. And uh, so I guess I was gonna uh, talk about the comments, I think. Uh, I'm trying to remember what it was. But other than that, um, I have shit to do in the space. Um, Someone said I shouldn't cuss. I already cuss. Well, it's kind of a habit. I'm sorry. I can't really help it. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, I got a, I got, a, I got a dilemma here. So first of all, we need to check the clan games. The clan games, guys, they're complete trash. Look at this. I, like, you put some of the worst rewards at the very end of the track. Like a hero book is not worth anything these days because heroes got like completely reworked. So like upgrading your hero is not really as substantial as it was like uh, before that update. And then it's like I already got a hero book from the end of this track. So there, I, I already kind of, I have to collect it now. The thing is in the end right now. So like I'm kind of stuck. And and then of course, of course, I get I get that hero book once my jellyfish like finishes upgrading. So I, I can't. I can't really do anything here. If I upgrade this fox, it's only three days. So like, I, my main priority is the fox because that, that thing is like the second most like OP troop that like I want to upgrade. And the other options I have are Lassie and Electro Rival. And the guys, Supercell, you guys need to fucking rework these troops. Like these these troops suck ass, man. Lassie needs like a complete rework. He needs a huge buff. You guys need to stop adding five levels to try to fix problems. Like, these troops are fundamentally, like, trash. Like, come on. Like, Supercell is just being super lazy with these. They don't really want to balance them properly. They just think, oh, add more levels. So kill two birds with one stone. You make the players work for more and get less in reality. And, uh, well, we buffed your, your troops, so stop complaining that they suck. Like, they're so lazy. Such a lazy game design. Supercell really needs to step up their game and quit being fucking lazy, bro. Like, Lassie doesn't have any abilities other than jumping in the wall, over the walls, and having health and damage. That's all That's all Lassie can do. And Elect Electrowl is so boring of a troop. Doesn't even deal that much damage. But that's where I am, guys. And I also gotta do attacks because, well, first of all, I'm gonna be demoted from Legends League. And second, um, I gotta I gotta get these uh, ores. So there's a lot of things I gotta do in this episode. I probably won't be able to finish all of them because I have to wait for my troops to train. So I also got to do a war attack. Thankfully, I have my things. You see, all right, so I was talking about last episode. It's like there's so many things in this game you got to do. Like as soon as you log on, there's like five, six, seven, eight different things you got to do and take care of right away. So first of all, I need to, I need to figure out I'm going to do this hero book because I got, I ended up getting the clan game points, by the way. But what, what am I going to do? So the hero book is like gonna be a complete waste if I use it on a spirit fox. But then if I use it on Lassie, it's like I'm never gonna use Lassie. Lassie sucks. Lassie's a horrible troop. Like why am I gonna use Lassie as a pet? And then the Electro Owl is like the same thing. Like why would I waste my, my hero book in these stupid troops? But I I don't know what else to use a hero book on. There's really nothing for me to use it on. And I go I want to get an upgrade underway. I want to get the spirit fox upgrading and I can't. It's a huge dilemma, so... I, I, the, the hero book would help if I had the Spirit Fox like a level 7 or something. But no, of course. I get all these hero books as soon as I'm like at the very end of the, the Jellyfish and he's already maxed out. So of course I can't use the hero books on a Spirit Fox. Of course I can't. So, piss, I'm pissed off. I'm probably just going to convert these things to gems. Because I'm already low. Well, not low on gems, but I, I spent a huge chunk on that stupid builder. So I'm just gonna make it all up, and then the, the, another thing with this dumb elixir rune, I, I don't need elixir. I I'm trying to get rid of all my elixir. I just used all of it right now because I was overflowing on walls. So like I need to get rid of the elixir. Um, so it, it's like horrible, horrible, horrible rewards. I, I would have been better off with a hero or not a hero book, a building book, a fighting book, even a spell book, bro. But a hero book, Supercell needs to like put the hero book as like a secondary reward, like in a tier or uh, whatever this is where the elixir is so I'm tapping on. They need to put that as a secondary reward because it's not as good as other books. So I'm gonna do. I don't need. I don't need the elixir rune. 
It's not gonna help. It's, all, it's only gonna get me a few useless walls upgraded and that's it, because walls are useless. I mean, air completely nullifies them and then the root riders destroy them, so. I'm probably I'm probably gonna just abandon the hero book. I'm I'm just gonna turn it into gems because I honestly I don't I don't need it, and I want to put this pressure on me that I gotta now I gotta grind up a, a hundred two hundred thousand more elixir so I can upgrade a spirit fox when I just wasted it on a stupid troop. So I'm just gonna I'm just not gonna worry about it like it's trash anyway. So I'm gonna get the hundred gems. What is this fifty gems? Uh, another useless rune that nobody cares about. Um, or two, uh, two haste potions. The haste potions are not really even that important. Let's be honest, they don't they don't have that much value. Uh, they they barely like do anything. So uh, I'm just gonna get more gems. I, I'm just gonna go all gems. I need to recover the gems. Loot that I don't really need because loot is like very abundant in this high league. Uh, so I'm just gonna turn that shovel into more gems, and then over here, 40 more gems, because uh, I don't need. I don't need the, the stupid wall rings or the research potion. Uh, and then I guess over here more gems as well. Like this is all gems. Like nothing here is useful. There's a lot of trash in these clan games so I don't need. It, it, it's all useless. So yeah, I'm just gonna get gems, gems, gems. There's really nothing else for me to get. Um, I'm just double checking here. It's like I don't need any of the loot. I don't need any of the speed potions or anything like that. I, it's useless. Let's just get all gems. It, it's just terrible, terrible clan games. And then over here, well, what's my second reward gonna be? Well, I'm gonna say fuck you to the hero book and just get gems, cause I'm I, I can't I can't be doing stupid stuff like this. We're upgrading a stupid lassie and then getting enough for nah. I'm just gonna upgrade. I'm just gonna do like the due process how it's supposed to go. So upgrade spirit fox. Um. And then what am I gonna do with my gold? You see, like, gotta do a lot of like planning for this game, like a lot, a lot of planning. It's kind of kind of frustrating sometimes. Um, so of course, like gold, I do need gold. I'm gonna need a lot of it soon because like these things are gonna upgrade like one after another, like two days, three days, yeah. So I'm just gonna upgrade. Um, the most expensive thing is seeking your mind. I just upgrade that. <clears throat> I gotta withdraw all my gold. So now I'm like almost maxed again. Great. All right, so that that is uh, I guess that wraps up the upgrading part of the base. Let's do a war attack. Let's do a war attack real quick. I need a I need an easy base for me. See, my clan is always losing, dude. Nine hours left, and like, oh my god, I, I still haven't left. I, I said last video I was gonna leave, but uh, I I just it's, it's hard, guys. It's hard. It's like. It's, uh, it's like not it's not hard what do I say it's like a hassle it's a hassle I, I hate going through random clans and then they're like oh you need to be here for two weeks so you can war with us because we are super official nah it's like you guys can go suck a dick like, I need to go into see of y'all if you're not gonna let me they need to let me know so I can get the fuck out for another clan it's like some of these people act like the government it's like you guys take this game way too seriously it's like I'm very tunnel 16 so if you want extra help in this war, your best bet is to let me in. It's like, don't don't try to act all like tough and shit. Like, dude, use some logic, common sense. Let me in your fucking war. It's not that hard. So for these bases, like, they already attacked. They already fucked everything up here. Um, this base, am I? Should I attack it? The funnel wouldn't be too bad here, I guess. I could come up from over here. What what is this like? Uh, five, uh, four o'clock, whatever it is. Five or four o'clock. Um, put a nice golem here, and then like just try to ram everything in. Yeah, yeah. Let's just do this base. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how this base goes. So there's been a lot of drama with this Kenny Joe, or is it Kenny Joe? No, that's another guy. <laughs> uh, that's uh, his name Eric. Eric, right? Been a shitload of drama. Um, and someone said that I shouldn't be criticizing Clash of Clans because I'm going to get my channel taken down or something. Well, if that happens, it happens. It's, I'm not really scared of Clash or Supercell. I, I'm going to speak my mind whether Supercell likes it or not. And I'm not going to let them try to oppress me. If they want to ban my shit, well, I mean, I, I don't think they would, but... It is possible, right? Because I mean, they're 
kind of sketchy or doing like some whack ass stuff, but I don't know. I'm not. I'm not gonna live in fear. I'm not gonna live in like this suppression. I, I, we'll just see what happens. We'll just see what happens. But I'm gonna keep these videos up. Whatever I gotta say about Clash, if it's good or bad, I'm just gonna speak my mind. Cause you know what? A lot of people these days they don't speak their fucking mind. They're so heavily censored. They they have like a a a. a hands covering their mouth like that one character in Caroline, I forgot his name, it was the other dad, the dad from the other world where the fucking piano hands came out and they, they covered his mouth. Put a long face. The mother didn't like it. What am I even doing here? What's going on in this battle? I think I'm losing. Yeah, it's like a lot of people are super censored these days and it's like, that stuff needs to stop. Like we need, we need to have people speak their real minds again. It, it, it's long gone. That, that value is long gone. It, it needs to come back. But, yeah. And then I think, what's his name? Asbin Gold made a reaction video on er Eric's uh, video. And, I, like, watching that reaction video was really cringe. Like, I'm gonna be honest. Because people like Asbin Gold, they don't know shit about, like, anything that's going on, like, in these specific communities. They're literally just here for the views and for the content. And they're, they're, it's not like they care. They don't care about the game. They just care about, like, making content. And to them, this game is content. Like, it's just... Like, I don't know why that's so hard to understand for some people. Like, Kenny... Or not Kenny. Why do I keep calling him Kenny Joe? Maybe because it looks so similar. Um, Eric... Eric actually made a video on him. Like, responding to him. And it's like, this dude is either... Am I already done here? Why is the war... Why is the war ending? Oh, I guess I'm done. Oh, well. Oh well, I didn't I didn't do that good. Oh well. Um oh shit, I don't have any troops trained. I did not train my last batch of troops. Wow. Okay, well. Uh I can't really do an attack anymore. I, I completely fucked that up, but I'll just wrap up my thoughts. Um I don't know if he's trying to milk this like situation with uh banning the esports players and all that shit. But giving a proper response to Aspen Gold is not even really like that important. Like that dude doesn't care. What is Asmund Gold gonna do to help the Clash of Clans community? He doesn't give a shit, dude. He's just he hops in random topics, whether it's political, uh, what's his name, Doctor Disrespect, like random various topics. Makes a video or reaction, makes his stupid faces, opens his eyes all the way, makes his yeah, it's just stupid ass reactions, and leaves. So I think Eric is just kind of milking this shit at this point. It wasn't necessary to make a video on that dumbass because it's, it, it doesn't matter. It, who cares? Who cares what he thinks, dude? He's not a part of this community. He doesn't know anything about the game, the background. I, I was watching his video and he was like reacting like like super fake. When uh, Eric uh, was mentioning like the Root Rider nerf, he was like, what? Like, shut the fuck up, dude. Made so wow. That the entire Clash of Clans really? Has you have equipment what? To be able to be no way. Well. You don't know. You, you're, you're pretending like you're interested, but it's it's obvious you're not. You're just putting up a show. So I might make a video dedicated to that. We'll see. Um, probably later today, because I need it. I was going to do it last night, but then Eric released a video reacting to Asmund Gold. So, like, that kind of impeded uh the process of the video so i might have to make it like all over again so yeah without without with all that said i was gonna do another attack but i didn't train troops i'm sorry with all that said thanks for watching everyone um let me know what you think leave a like if you want leave a like uh let me know what you think of the, the video or any of the drama i just talked about or my opinions on asmin gold i don't know I don't know too much about the guy, so I can't go too hard on him, but from my, my, what I'm seeing is like he's just a variety guy. He just hops in random stuff, talks about it, and leaves. He's like, he doesn't care about the game. So that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next Clash of Clans episode.